Hi, I'm Dave Lippmann, and I'm here with Enrico Signoretti, CEO and Managing Director of Juku IT. Hey, Enrico. Hi, David. So, uh, Enrico and I are going to be speaking today a little bit about object storage. Uh, Enrico is a uh, noted blogger, influencer, and author about all things object storage. So, Enrico, you know, there is a lot of attention lately in the object storage market. And so, what do you think is, is going on? You know, what's changing? And, and I guess, specifically from the end user perspective, what are you seeing? Yes, indeed. Uh, so, there is a lot of uh, changes lately. And uh, it's happening just because uh, uh, users of any size are now uh, experiencing the growth that was predicted uh, a few years ago. And uh, so they are looking for uh, cheaper storage now and they are looking a way to, to serve different kind of applications and object storage uh, seems the right choice for them. So now we have uh, many more users looking at uh, this kind of option and, uh, and they are starting, some of them are starting pretty small like in the hundreds of terabyte but many of them are uh, planning uh, to grow very very uh, strong in, uh, in a few years. Okay, so, so with the growth of data and the growth of adoption, are there any specific features that, that end users are asking for these days? Yeah, uh, you know, um, there are at least two features that are uh, in any conversation now. One is S3 compatibility, because you know, m most of the gateways, most of the applications are developed for that kind of APIs. And this is probably the first thing that uh, any end user is asking for. In, but they are also asking for NAS uh, features like uh, uh, legacy, a way to put uh, all data in the object store, so NAS and SMB uh, compatibility, uh, sorry, uh, NFS and SMB compatibility, and this uh, will help them to, to store uh, data with the traditional uh, protocols. So, um, Enrico, you mentioned two words that sort of lead me into my next question. You, you mentioned legacy and NAS, and so, you know, it sort of leads me to, to ask about NetApp and where you see their storage grid positioned uh, in the object storage market. Yeah, you know, I recently wrote a paper for them, so uh, I dug a lot in the, in the product and how it works. Actually, they, have, uh, they are doing pretty well lately because they added a lot of features and uh, in the latest release they also added a NAS functionality which is, uh, which is an interesting take about this kind of functionality because it's not a, a, an external uh, uh, traditional gateway okay? but it's a VM that can be deployed in, uh, in remote offices, can be deployed locally so it's a kind of uh, elastic gateway it's a um, really nice take on that kind of uh, functionality and, uh, and also they have uh, S3 compatibility, as I said, um, and I think they are uh, positioned for that kind of customers that are uh, small to medium size from, uh, regarding the object storage, which is uh, medium to large size enterprises and uh, medium to large size um, kind of service provider. Probably uh, the product can scale more, but uh, this is where the, most of the market is uh, um, is now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, fabulous, Enrico. Thanks very much for taking the time to to share your perspectives and analysis on the object storage market. Thank you very much, Dave.